battle, battle, battle. First battle of the evening, the amazing Brandon King and Alan Ford Jr. Get on up here. Hello. Yes. 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 Oh my God. Let's get ghetto. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, it's going to get racist. Have you decided who's going first? No, not yet. Okay. Okay. I'll go first. All right. Never mind. It's, it's going to get very white. Apparently. <laughs> All right, guys. Roast on three. Let's do it. One, two, three. Roast! For those who don't know, Brandon King is from Gary, Indiana, and he's not a Michael Jackson fan, not because of the music, only because Michael Jackson wasn't in the fat kid. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Alan Ford is a junior. Yeah, he's a junior. That means he's out here fucking up another grown man's name. Uh, Alan, <laughs> Alan is such a disappointment. At his high school graduation, his dad said, I don't know that nigga. <laughs> My son's name is Alvin. <laughs> Brandon likes fat white girls, fried chicken, seedless watermelon, and drinking Kool-Aid. He's the biggest black stereotype ever. If you say the N-word three times in the mirror, he pops up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, oh yeah, I'm right here, yeah, yeah. Alan's, Alan Ford is so skinny, he take naps next to the broom, in between the wall and the refrigerator. Speaking of brooms, you should see the top of his head. <laughs> it's always bald motherfuckers that got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, Alan, Alan is such a horrible person, his hair follicles divorced him at 20. Like, it's... <laughs> I refuse to take that for somebody who's wearing three different types of black on right now. <laughs> Off black, white, black. I don't know what the fuck, black. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I first met Alan, I really did think I was meeting a celebrity impersonator. Uh, I was so, I was, I was so confused. I was like, I told my homie, I said, look, it's Oscar Proud from the Proud family. Ah, ha, 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 that's very funny. He looks like Quest Love got thrown in a dryer. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon King has psoriasis of the face, which means it's different colors. So if he doesn't put lotions on and his face is ashy, it looks like he just missed the money shot. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Alan's built like a single dad with a low sperm count. Ha <laughs> ha! That's very funny, camouflage face. <laughs> single dad, that's a good one. You know, I get it out, I get it out. Fuck you. <laughs> Brent is built like a third string women's rugby player. <laughs> But we need to hurry up in this. He gotta take his bra off and clean his boob sweat off. <laughs> Alan's built like a panty liner. Fuck you. <laughs> Your shoes are fake, so we just aren't talking about that up here. Okay, that was terrible. Uh... <laughs> Like your comedy career. Oh. Your comedy career is starting in Indiana. I think we know whose is worse. You're from Harvey. It's no different from Gary. Still Illinois, my guy. We have cheaper taxes. I would rather be in Indiana. All right, this is starting to yeah, get, it's to starting to get weird. Yeah, now. This got weird. It's starting to get weird. It got super weird. It's super weird. <laughs> One more joke. Okay. One more joke. Go ahead. You go. No, you go. I'm going to let you know. You can go. Oh, I'll make sure I had it right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Brandon's hair is made out of vagina, pubic hair. I don't know. I couldn't finish it off. Alan Ford is the man every book, big woman looks for. All he got to do is wear a cotton t-shirt and he's a snug tampon. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> That was stupid. It was a laugh yeah. joke. Fuck all of y'all. All right, give it up for them, everybody. Y'all yeah, make it. <laughs> Great job. That was awesome, starting off the battles. Very good. I liked how it got personal, but then, like, really cordial out of nowhere. It's like, man, fuck you, man. But you can go if you want to finish. That's all good. I mean, that's... <laughs> Let's start off with Brandon. What did you think about the opening battle tonight? I, I, uh... Wait, there we go, there we go. 
I still, I don't, is it on? Yeah. All right, no, uh, you guys started strong as shit, but boy, uh, you fizzled at the end there. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. And I was like, damn, I'm about to see a battle. And I was like, damn, oh, is that a Pokemon hat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a black dude collecting Pokemon, and this looks like a black Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> you got to catch enough of them, I guess. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I thought you guys were great. That was fantastic. This is tough, uh, but I, I got to give it to you, man. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, not, uh, no, not you, Brandon. <laughs> Marcus, right? Out. Uh, out. So, God damn it. I'm just racist. I apologize. <laughs> Okay, Marcus gets a vote. <laughs> His name's Alan. Alan, right. sorry. Alan gets a vote. Give it up, Mark. Right, my bad, my bad. First vote of the evening. Now, yeah. Hey, Michael. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, oh. what, did you, what did you think? Michael, I was good. I was strong. Um, damn, I'm going to have to go with, uh, I'm gonna go with Alan on this one. Yeah. Alan? Yeah, I'm going to go with Alan. Alan gets two. <laughs> Interesting. Michael, what did you think? Well, this was a great battle. Let's give it up for them, everybody. Come on now. I had the quest love thought in my brain, so I was with Alan on that one. Um, but you know, we're also giving it up for the black Ash Ketchum or Ashy Ketchum, so to speak. Um, but you know what? I'm actually gonna go with Brandon on this one. I liked his comebacks a little bit. Oh yeah, Brandon gets a vote. <laughs> Allie. Um, I thought you both did well. Brandon, I liked your joke of him uh, sleeping in between the fridge, although I think his body can fit, but I don't know about his head. Um, but I think I'm going to have to give this one to Brandon. Okay. Yeah. 2-2. Two, two. Tiebreaker, Donick, what did you think the other black guy on stage did? Yeah, that was awesome. I do want to say before we started talking, Ali did lean over and say, which one is which? Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm woke. Um, <laughs> this was a great battle. It was honestly like watching two angry comic book store workers just go at it in the break room. <laughs> um, everybody really brought up good points. The thing that uh, I'll, I'll tell who I voted for, but uh, I'm going to give it to Alan because I also had Questlove in my head, but I, the punchline that I had was different and yours was way better on stage. So I'm going to give it to Alan tonight. Okay, Alan uh, wins the battle. Give it up for him. Get up for both of these guys. Great job. Ooh. That's a good way to start. Hell yeah, that was very good. Much wider than I thought it would be, to be honest.